Please do not touch my penis. Do not touch on my penis. I am not gay, even though I give that vibe. Anyway, <laughs> what's, what's going on with you? Well, uh, we're getting taken off because uh, <laughs> that was more than they allotted, what, three seconds you're allowed to play? We'll find out. It's going to be right on the edge. It's going to be close. So if, you, if this episode gets taken down, you know you know why. But also, you're not listening to you this. You know why. So. It's because <laughs> Drew said a slur later in the episode. Yeah. Yeah. It's not because of the copyright at the beginning. It's not because of La Bamba. <laughs> it's because I referred to uh, Middle Eastern people. Because you called it Woody Allen a heeb. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, what a good one! <laughs> <laughs> what a good one! I mean, not not a not a good slur. I mean, what a good heeb! <laughs> Absolutely, one of the best. <laughs> one of the best. <laughs> Never done anything bad in his life. So, are we sliding right into our emergency apology for last week's Oscars? Yeah, we have to. Now, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> mostly gentlemen, but ladies, also some ladies. Ladies and gentlemen of the graduating class of 1999. As we go on, <laughs> we remember last the times we month shared together. That song came out the year I graduated. That's sad. You're old and dying. <laughs> Just do it. Kill yourself. <laughs> Uh, good advice from Vitamin C, as always. You know that she was in a Wishmaster movie and she showed her tits? That is pretty sick. This is information I didn't know, wasn't ready for, but I'm happy to hear. I like your Google image search. You just turned up <laughs> yeah. a bunch of bottles Vi of vitamin, vitamin C. C. <laughs> I, need to, I don't remember it because like, it's one of those bad like fourth or fifth Wishmasters. Yeah. And I couldn't tell you which one she's actually in. I bet you there's somebody screaming at me. It's five, right now. stupid. It's four, idiot. Uh, it might be four because I just clicked on four. Will and, she be billed as vitamin C? Uh, it, it might be her name brackets vitamin C. I don't know. Um, you keep talking. I'm going to look it up. Like when uh, Stephen King based uh, television show Haven. Uh, had uh, WWE superstar Adam Edge Copeland yep. in the credits. Colleen Ann Fitzpatrick is her name. Ah, good Mick. Yeah, I remember her being very cute. And now that I'm looking at her again, very cute. She was cute, right? I remember Vitamin C being yeah. cute. Very cute. Yeah. Very Irish. Very Irish. Possibly the first cute Irish person. No, Ooh. Saoirse Ronan. Saoirse Ronan. Sure, sure, sir. Sure, sure. Sure, sure. Sure, sure, Ronan. Sure, sure, that, That's Ronan. what everyone was first saying to Ronan Farrell when he started Me Tooing everyone. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, Ronan. I... And back to Woody Allen. Full circle. We did it. I'm thinking it wasn't... Vitamin C at all? It was pink? No, I think it's vitamin C, but I don't know. Now I'm thinking it might not be Wishmaster. Oh. It might be something else because she's not. Did she definitely pop them titties well, out? Well, she's in Dracula 2000. Okay, that's an maybe option. Maybe it's Dracula 2000 or maybe it's not vitamin C oh, at all. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. You get me all jazzed for Colleen Fitzpatrick's tits and then you just yank them away like it was nothing. I don't know. Mr. Skin. Thank God for Mr. Skin. Thank God for Mr. Skin. Brief nudity. But that doesn't okay. tell me. It doesn't tell you who's nudity? There's nudity. It's a wish master. So maybe she, it, it's not her. Maybe huh. I just always thought it maybe was her. Maybe you just wished no. it was vi oh. vitamin C. Dra nude. Dracula 2000? Or this is. It's Dracula, Dracula 2000. Okay. There you go. Good job. Do you know who was Dracula? Uh, Gary Oldman. No. Uh, oh, but he, but he is famous. He's, he is famous. Uh, Tom Cruise. Th this was pre-fame for him. Brad Pitt. No, not even close. Henry Cavill. Um, Nicholas Cage. Before Henry Cable. Brandon Routh. Uh, I'm just gonna name Superman. After Brandon Routh. Gah. That's a tight window. Why would you do that to me? But he's not Superman. Channing Tatum. He just became popular. Was Channing Tatum uh, Dracula 2000? He might have been popular before. Uh, Matthew Fox. After. Scott Wolf. <laughs> After. <laughs> um, a 2000s man, you say. 
Um, oh, they, that's a clip of it. Okay. But you can't see. I can't do anything can't with see that. Nips. I don't know. Who is Dracula 2000? Uh, Gerard Butler. Oh. I wouldn't have got that. Pre fame. I, I mean, look at him. Barely pre fame. He was famous after Dracula 2000. That's I true. imagine. He's also in one of my favorite bad movies ever made, uh, Reign of Fire. Reign of Fire. I thought you were a uh, Olympus Has Fallen, man. No, no, no. That's, that's bad. Geostorm? Although, I don't know if I've actually Geostorm. seen... Geostorm. God, I just want the clip. Just show me your tits! I just want to see him. Is it on the page? God that's... damn it. Is it going to give me a virus? Oh, it's yeah, just a screen you, cap. You got a virus now. It's just a goddamn screen cap. You got cap. a virus for sure. Oh, well. At least you know. And now you know. And knowing's most of the problem. <laughs> That's, that's how it goes. That right? is what they say. Uh, can how, confirm. How much older than you is she? Not much. 1972. That's a lot. And that's like three years, Scott. Fuck you. You're pretty much the same age. No, I am. I am still allowed to be disgusted by people who were born in the 1970s. No. That's you, too much. You were born barely after the 70s. But after. Yeah, but barely. The 70s is a bridge too far. Or, fatty, a fridge too far. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, well, anyways, let's continue on our path of... Emergency apologies. How many... She only put out two studio albums, and that's it. I mean... She was done by 2001. Once you strike gold. I mean, I bet you she's made so much money off that fucking song. Oh, yeah. Like, that, that, any time that song gets played If you told anything, me that Vitamin C was the richest woman in the world, I believe you. I mean, besides George Clooney's wife. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I really, uh, I'm pretty close to getting one of those daddy's little George Clooney's wife <laughs> shirts. <laughs> I'm pretty close. Vitamin C, net worth... Don't be stupid. Eight million. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. That's for good. A one-hit wonder. Yeah, Man, that's not bad. That's good money. Like I, bad. I'd be okay with eight million dollars. Well, you got to come up with the greatest graduation song, uh, other than uh, that that shit Green Day song. What about everybody's free to wear sunscreen? Uh, I don't know. I'm not familiar with it. Yes, you are. Is it the Pixies. You asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? If you can't tell me, I'm not going to tell you. You got to think it up in your brain. Is it Boz Lerman? Does he make music? <laughs> Boz Lerman. Is it Boz Skaggs? Uh, damn. My brain. Is it a Boz? Uh, Why do I have a Boz in my head? No? Is it Brian Bosworth, college football star? Look at this. Look at this. What am I looking? It's Boz Lerman, you dick! <laughs> I didn't say no. You gave me quite a look. I mean, I looked at you because you look. Those hard. of you, <laughs> I gave you that look no, because you're, you're you were you were right, but you looked retarded. <laughs> you were, you were right, but it's because two of your bottom teeth go sideways no. and come out your upper lip. No, I'm pretty. No, you're inbred. <laughs> you're, what? You, your dad and your mom are the same person. How dare you fill me with doubt about Boz Lerman? Well, Boz Lerman sucks. You absolute piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. Now, do we, can we get... I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. You eat pieces of shit for breakfast? Can we get back to the emergency apology, please? Yeah, we're ten minutes in. We should probably continue with our emergency apology. Exactly. And also introduce the podcast and who we are. But oh, yeah. whatever. Well, Why would we bother having structure on this podcast after episode... What are we on? Like, 80? Um, Something like that. Yeah, like I think that like the worst year of our lives feed has like... a. 115, 120. Yeah, so why at 117 or why, 18? Why would we learn would now? Would we start doing structure Imagine now? learning now. <laughs> Imagine trying to be good at this. <laughs> How absurd. pathetic. Welcome to the worst year of our lives. I'm Scott, and that over there is Drew. Yo. Sup. And that's the intro. <laughs> we practiced it. We nailed it. 
I think you can attest. Look, I I, <laughs> I was really out of juice after La Bamba. <laughs> that was my contribution. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best I got but if you're so inclined you can go to Twitter you can go to at not Scott Henson or at Syrian soft pause I'm gonna yell it so you go gonna, you know what Drew, Drew yelled it so go go to Drew's <laughs> now I'm getting into Kelly territory I also uh, the one person I saw that posted on uh, the the last episode up previous to Monday's yeah. Uh, so last Thursdays, where they said they felt bad for Kelly. Don't feel bad for Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, you don't even know him. Number two, he wouldn't feel bad for you. He's a piece of shit. He's wow. human garbage. <laughs> also, well, he's got a huge hog. Which brings us to <laughs> our emergency apology, quite elegantly, in fact. So last year or week, depending how you're measuring time, or one year or week in the future, <laughs> depending how you're measuring time, because we're doing this backwards. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But any way you slice it, for the 2004 Oscars, both of us unanimously, two for two, batting 1.000, awarded Thomas Hayden Church a Best Supporting Actor Oscar. Not even a nomination. Not a game. We're talking about practice. Not, not, not the game. Not, not the game. The game. Talking not about the game. practice. Talking about practice. We both gave him the Best Supporting Actor Oscar for the movie Sideways by, I believe, Alexander Payne. Co-starring. Correct. Paul Giamatti. Not as an orangutan. A ranch tan, yeah, or a turtle, yeah. Paul Giamatti in a rare human role, and uh, who who were the Virginia Madsen, Virginia Madsen, and Sandra O, oh. and Sandra O, oh. Sandra O. Oh. <laughs> I'm showing her my O face. Uh oh, uh oh. So we both give this wonderful man. You may know him as the Sandman from Spider Man <laughs> Three, Spider Man, or. Matt Damon's friend when Matt Damon bought a zoo. That's true. Oh, I thought he played one of the bears. I believe he does voice an animal in something. Oh, good. Ma oh, the animals don't talk in We Bought a Zoo, right? No, it's, it's a real movie. But would it have been cool if they talked? No, because I hate talking to animal movies. But you love Zookeeper. Th I think that's the one that Thomas Hayden Church does a voice in. Oh, so he's in We Bought a Zoo and voices an animal in Zookeeper. Yeah. That's... He insane oh yeah he was also lobster johnson in the worst hellboy oh the which which worst hellboy the neil marshall one the one that was ruined by the studio execs trying to ruin his career is what like the 2019 one yeah but that's not the worst one of hellboy no that's worse than the second hellboy no it's also not worse than the first hellboy it's the best hellboy yeah, okay. Riddle me this, Andrew. <laughs> Riddle me this. In Hellboy Original yeah. or Hellboy to the Golden Army? Golden Army. In either of those, Guillermo del Toro joints. Yeah. Does a Korean man turn into a cat? A Korean American man. <laughs> you racist fuck. Does he? No. No. I think the... I think I rested my case. <laughs> I think the jury... Case dismissed. <laughs> yeah. So now that we've made that point, Thomas Hayden Church. Both big fans. Both gave him an Oscar. Also, Initials. He's also in Monkey Bone. He's also in Monkey Bone. <laughs> Which also has a, a person cat. <laughs> Initials. T-H-C. Which, of course, stands for our organization... The Thick Hog Community. And it occurred to neither of us, didn't cross our minds to mention that when either of us awarded that Oscar. So I would like to apologize to a number of people. I'd like to apologize to Drew for letting him down, to myself, my family, to God, to you, the listener, and to Thomas Hayden Church. And of course, to the Thick Hog Community. This has been... An emergency apology. I, on the other hand, will not be emergency apologizing because, because 
I'm rescinding his Oscar. What? Because I just saw that he is in one of those Christian propaganda movies. Oh, he's in Heaven is for Real. Nice. So I, I will be no longer supporting <laughs> THC. I will be no longer supporting Greg Kinnear. I will no longer be supporting Margot Martindale. Character actor Margot Martindale? She's in it. Oh. Can't watch it. Damn. Fuck they, it. uh... The, What's the other the, one? God's Not Dead? That's the other one? Yeah, that one had a sequel. I mean, Heaven is Real probably did too. Yeah, but, um, yeah there is some. Melissa the, Joan Hart's in the sequel. Hey, Sabrina. Oh, there's three. And a fourth on the way. Love it. God's I mean, Not Dead, A Light in Darkness. And God's Not Dead, We the People. Oh, that one, I'm guessing that one has a political slant? Oh, possibly. Do you think? Um... What was his? Oh yeah, uh, that Mister Show reboot some years ago, like with Bob, Bob and Bob, David. With Bob and David, yeah. Uh, they did a really good, uh, like parody uh, on a talk show of like the the kid that uh, <laughs> they called it Heaven is Totes for Reals <laughs> <laughs> is based on, like mm-hmm. the kid who like died and saw heaven, mm-hmm. and and it, it, it starts off. You know, regular, and he's like, he saw angels and stuff. He's like, yeah, and I saw Hitler, and he was really nice. <laughs> and it's a, it, I think it was my favorite skit of that. Of that oh, new one, I haven't seen. Also, any. I apologize for calling it skit. It's sketch. You are you are a uh, lamoid if you call it skits. I, I don't think I've seen any of the new that one. It's it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Eh. Eh. Wait, you don't like David Cross? I love David Cross. Do you like him more than Bob Odenkirk? Especially when he's in a wheelchair and has to suck his own dick. <laughs> <laughs> and Bob Odenkirk doing his best Liam Neeson impersonation. Yeah, have you? Did you watch Nobody? Someone purchased, not watched. Correct. Excellent. I hear it's fun. Got to support my boy. I love him. Team. Anything, anything, Bob or Robert or David do. Robert and David. I'm in. I'm in. Mister Show with Robert and David. Robert and David. He's he's one of those guys, Bob, where like ten years ago you're like, oh cool, like Bob's a, a minor character in this thing I like. Yeah. Whereas now it's like, oh, he's like an actual guy now. Yeah. Like he's people know who he the is. The star of his own show for five years and is headlining movies. Yeah. It's yeah, something. It's it's weird. In his what, like well into his fifties? Uh he was born in sixty two, so he's a hundred and five. Fifty nine this yeah. year. He's the same age as my mom. Wow, and he's my mom like, should divorce my dad and marry Bob Odenkirk. Hey. That's that'd a move. be pretty rad. That'd be cool. Look into it. Look, I'll I'll hook it up. Uh, but yeah, I mean oh, he was in Little Women, which I won't. Yes, he was. Say. He was in Dolomite Is My Name. He was in The Long Shots. He's the president in Long Shots. If you haven't seen Long Shots, I recommend it. It's much better than you would think it would be. The, Seth Rogen the one and where you're Theron. surprised that Seth Rogen can fuck Charlize Theron? Yeah. Huh. It's uh, it's better than I thought it would be. I enjoyed it. Well, we should talk about it now because we're not going to talk about Charlize yeah. Theron later. No. He's in The Incredibles 2. He's in The Post. He's in The Disaster Artist. I'm yeah, he gonna... had that run in like the mid-2010s where he was like um, a very minor character in big movies like, yeah. like The Post and stuff. Yes. Uh, he but... wasn't in The Post and Spotlight, was he? He's not in Spotlight, no. No. Uh, but then of I course, just picture him in a news. He was in Fargo. He did tons of stuff for Tim and Eric. So yeah. Very, very busy man. He's he's the guy. He's the voice of Great Job. Yes, he is. Yeah. Yeah. Some might say without him, it would have never happened. He's the only reason Tim and Eric. He's the here. only reason. <laughs> and he and also from anyone that's ever worked with him, especially on Mr. Show, he has the best goddammit in the business. Nice. <laughs> He's a, he's a like especially on Mr. Show. He's such a great screamer. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's better than Bob Odenkirk yelling. Yeah. I, I, imagine, I imagine there's some yelling in Nobody. So probably it's probably give, fun. Give me back my dog and elephant. What? Give me back my elephant. That <laughs> it's the protector with I, Tony Jaa. I don't think. Where's my elephant? <laughs> Where's my elephant? That's all he says. Does he have Down syndrome? No, he's. Sigh, and so they speak English weird, like they have Down syndrome. 
I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't think Bob Odenkirk's Nobody is a remake of Tony Jaws, Jaws the, the Protector. Protector. Can you say that for certain? I can't prove it's not. No. Well, Scott, I don't know what to tell you. I think you're, <laughs> I think you're gay. <laughs> the test came back. I'm definitely gay. Definitely gay. The test where they put you in a room with a man. <laughs> And if you have sex with them, <laughs> that, you're, that, you're gay. That's a very good... Classic uh, empirical gay test. That's a very good Daniel Tosh thing, is one of the years that he does the... Uh, oh, that's where they are now, Reunion Spectacular. Mm -hmm. And he gets Ice J.J. Fish. And then he goes, uh, internet, internet says you're gay. Are you gay? And he goes, hell no, I ain't gay. He's like, well, only one way to find out. We'll make out. And if you <laughs> don't get a boner, you're not gay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the test. That's the test. Like, luckily, like, but here's the here's the thing. Okay, a serious question that I need an answer to. Serious satellite radio. Serious question for the radio. If do okay, because I I'm not super familiar with it, and I want to know. Uh huh. Can you be a bottom and not get hard? Yeah. So I mean, I mean, yeah, that's up to you. Oh, okay. Like, but yeah, but maybe it's because like doctor checks your prostate, you get a boner. Isn't that how it works? <laughs> Isn't that how it works? That's, like, why I, I that's mean. how television's always like television and movies has always made it seem like you stick a finger in your butt, take your test your prostate, and you get a boner. That is my. I mean, it's the male G spot. Yeah. So, so you could be a bottom and not get hard. I think with with sheer force of will, you could be a bottom and not get hard. I don't know where I was going with this. <laughs> <laughs> I have no follow up. I just want to know if I can get fucked in the ass. <laughs> It's, and it's not, not come it's, myself. It's not cheating if you stay. I, yeah, if I can just be a receptacle for the other guy, yeah. and nothing's going on with a concubine. Me, I am a whole. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's not cheating. Then. It's not cheating. It's not and, cheating if you don't kiss on the mouth and you don't get a boner. And it's not gay. Oh, gay straight. It's all the same. <laughs> Everything blends together into one. Yeah. Come on, man. It's the nineties. Shades of gray, and by shades, I mean. Just just gray and gray minus the R is just gay. Ah, Fifty Shades of Gay. Fifty Shades of Your Gay. They must, they must have done some sort of epic movie style Yeah, the, the, Wayans, the Wayans brothers did. The Wayans must have done Fifty Shades of Gay. No, I don't think it's Fifty Shades of Gray. I think it's uh, Fifty Shades of Black. That the seems too hard to do. Fifty Shades of Black. Oh, they actually did? Yeah. That's very funny. And it's funny. just a parody of it. Why don't, like, uh, I don't know, Billy Eichner and Drew Drogi do <laughs> Fifty Shades oh, of Gay? Oh, Fred Willard, R.I.P. Fred Willard, R.I.P. Oh, Jane Seymour, giant tits. Hello. <laughs> Jane Seymour is the only person in my mind that can give Helen Mirren a run for most attractive for hot women, old like, bitch. over 50. Yeah. Because she's got some big old cannons. She's a hot old bitch. And Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. Dr. Quinn. Where she pretended to be native. Was she part native? Or was it just that she was in the frontier? I think she was just in the wild. I think she was still very white. I don't know. Unless I've been watching the show wrong. Yeah, I guess just her... her husband boyfriend guy was like vaguely made it I think so yeah she might have married into it yeah but I don't think it's sexually transmitted Joe, I, don't, I don't think being native is sexually transmitted Joe Lando and like what was the deal like the the cast Joe Orlando the, the cast of Little House in the Prairie would get sick and then she would like breastfeed them and they get better was it, was it a crossover thing no it just seems oh. frontier -y. <laughs> no it does not <laughs> No, it's not. It's not a crossover. This, they weren't, I don't know. Yeah, see, like, this guy, white, but yeah. vaguely native. Vaguely native. And that was her, like, fuck buddy. Yeah. But yeah. The, yeah. I, I definitely remember watching a, a bit of it and thinking, hmm, Dr. Quinn, pretty hot. Yeah. Oh, who's this guy? That's a good look. He's cool. What's his story? Oh, it's fucking Bull from Night Court. Oh, shit. With hair and a fucked up face. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Night Court. Excellent theme song. Excellent theme song. Excellent show. Yeah, it's good. And I 
think they're doing some kind of reboot. Yeah, except for like more than half of them are dead. I think it's mostly just Harry Anderson, who granted was the star. He was Night Court. Yeah, but I guess they're doing something with John Larroquette. Mm -hmm. Best use of the Night Court theme is the Horse and Carriage remix by Cameron. Mm. That song fucking rocks. John Larroquette. What are you up to, my friend? Is the John Larroquette show the, still on, or the, was that 20 years the ago? The Good Fight? Ah, the spinoff of The Good Wife. Yeah. I don't, it, doesn't have, it doesn't have anything in production, so... Something's happening, trust me. He's a cooking us. This, this is this is a scoop, a scoop or a scoot. It's a scoop. scoop by scoop. It's a scoot scoop. A scoot scoop. Scoot scoop and boogie. <laughs> scoot scoop riot. <laughs> scoop 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 riot. Riot. <laughs> All right, enough uh, enough of reading Oscars? people's IMDb. Pages. It is fun though. It is. It's fun. fun for us. I don't know if it's fun for everyone else. Not worried about it. Eh, maybe. All right, so we're on. No, I mean like. It very well might not be fun. Like, it's not that I'm not worried that it's not fun for them. I'm almost sure it isn't fun for them, but I'm not worried about that because oh, I don't care. You don't care about Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, don't misunderstand. I also don't care about any of you. <laughs> unless you're going to give us money. Then, then you, you can be my best friend. Yeah, hop on to paypal.me slash notscottensen and send us some money. And Drew will do those kisses. Uh, so, 2003 Academy Awards taking place in 2004. That's confusing. Yeah, I know. Why did we do it this way? Because <laughs> we're, we're stupid. <laughs> so, best screenplay. The winners. Why am I looking at the TV when I have it right in front of me? I, know, I, like, I like your style, though. I'm going to lean back. I like I'm going to lean you've forward. You've got it on the computer, and then you're leaning over to Well, this look is so at, you can see it. I know. I, I understand. I understand one's for me and one's for you, but I like that you're bending over and looking at the one for me. Yeah, of course. So, the original winners were Lost in Translation and Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. And did you keep either? One of them. Me too. I bet you it's the same one. Lost in Translation? Yes. Yes. Because as good as Lord of the Rings is, yeah. I don't lean towards screenplay as the best part of it. No. I mean, it's all obviously adapted from a very famous book, yeah. but... Yeah. Also, too many endings. Um... A lot of endings. Did you... Okay, I'm going to assume you didn't keep anything on original. Did you keep In America? I kept In America. I also kept In America. Did you keep anything on the adapted screenplay side? Let's have a quick look. American Splendor, City of God, Mystic River, and Sea Biscuit. I have Mystic River. I kept Mystic River as well. So we're three... We got three of the same. So we're three of the same, and those are all the ones that are that were nominated. Yeah. Are uh, other two the same? I bet they're no, not. No, I don't think no. they are. One, maybe one. I think one, not two. I think one, not two. Is your other one, the one that you think we have the same, is it A Mighty Wind? No. Oh, I put A Mighty Wind. I didn't because it's so much improv. I know, but it's still... The, the ideas, the story... Yeah. It's all still... No, I, I definitely thought about it, but that's the reason I cut it. Okay, fair. What's your other one? What did you think we had the same? I thought we had 21 grams the same. That was uh, the last thing I cut. Ah. That was okay. the last thing I cut. So the other one... I i don't think it's the same. I don't think it is either, but I'll be thrilled if it is. Um, it's Brother Bear? Oh, no. I have the Barbarian Invasion. Oh, okay. No. Is yours actually Brother it's Bear? It's actually Brother uh, Bear. <laughs> nice. Good. I, I was going to say, I, I am fine with uh, TF representation on the show. Oh, good. Good. Yeah, it, it is a real... Is it also your best picture and best director? <laughs> well, I don't know who directed it, but yes, it is. I don't know. Some <laughs> some some animation director that only does animation. I don't know. Some furry. <laughs> Aaron Blyce and Robert Walker. Some, so, some guy who convinced Disney to let him make a movie about turning into a bear. Uh, the same guy who directed The Rescuers Down Under, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, The Lion King, Pocahontas, oh. Mulan. Uh, well, that's a lot of yeah. the big ones. Yeah. I had seen. Oh no! no sorry, sorry, sorry. No, that he no. worked animation department ah, as, and then an he anim got, as an animating supervisor. Then he got to direct. But he was the art director on Wolf Walkers. Oh, nice. So he's got a type. He's, for sure. <laughs> for for show. Sure. He's got a type. He is. He's in the community, but not the thick God community. Not thick God community. So the, the TFC, not the THC. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, what, what, do you, what do you got? 
Uh, Lost in Translation. Uh, if, if I had to choose a, a second, Lost in Translation. I chose In America. And nothing wrong with that. Our, uh, should we... Talk about you crying? <laughs> well, I was going to go a more roundabout way to that, no. but... Scott cried while watching In America because yeah. he loves immigrants. I... <laughs> He's pro-immigration. Uh, uh, only a certain kind. Yeah, I the am... right kind. People from Denmark, Norway, I, I am... Sweden... Pro, Ireland. I am pro white immigration, <laughs> and it touches my heart. <laughs> it makes you happy when whites get to stay. Hey, more whites, <laughs> bring it in. I, but yeah, I think this is the first like good cry I've had at stuff we've watched for these Oscars. A man called Uve. That's not for the Oscars. That's not for the Oscars. Oscars. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so yeah. like stuff for these, I. Yeah. I don't think I've had like a good one. I've maybe gotten choked up at something, or maybe not. Yeah, I've I've gotten a little choked up at stuff, but yeah, I don't think I've cried yet. Yeah, yeah. In America, oh, I'll cry. I'll fucking. Oh, I'll cry, I'll cry right now. <laughs> I'll cry right now, right in your fucking face. Um. All right. What's, so what's Devil, it? definitely falls in the big uh, pleasant surprise category too, because I didn't have a lot of expectations for in America. Right. Okay, what uh, let's say we do best supporting actor because I think that best that, actor is a more interesting conversation. Do we both have some narrowing down to do still for well, supporting actor. I have five. Okay. I have two that I added. Yep. And I don't know if they're going to make it in, but I'd like to mention them. And then one that I think does like deserves a mention, and I I can't I don't know if I can bump them in, but we'll find out. We'll, we'll find, find out. out. I have seven, no winner, and no five, and no like five. no idea of what you're five. I, I I think I can knock one. Okay, I think I have six. So, I have I think I have six and a shout out. Okay, so best so the if, but if we have the same total seven, oh my god, that's um, rad. unbelievable. So the the winner was uh, Tim Robbins for Mystic River. Yeah, on the list for for me. Yes, on the stream. Me too. Did you keep but, out Baldwin for the cooler? Is, I, is he on your list? He's not. Okay. I had to. Uh, he was. He was there. Yeah. He was probably eighth or ninth. He. But he's, I cut him. He's in my. He's in your seven. He's in my seven. Yeah. I liked him. I. I like a man named Shelley. I like a man named Shelley. I'm a fan. Yeah. yeah. I don't like a man named Kelly. Also, also, <laughs> also, anybody listening, you should watch The Cooler. It's very underrated. It's a fun movie. It's very underrated. I, I, I don't it. know a lot of people that have seen it. Yeah. I. I hadn't seen it before. I knew of it. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> Here's here's a here's a stupid here's a stupid admission. <laughs> I I had a uh, no oh no this is this is gonna be really dumb isn't it's it? It's a little dumb. I had three movies written down that I hadn't seen because I knew because <laughs> I knew one of them was cool, <laughs> but I couldn't remember which one. I knew that either. And maybe maybe more because I I've still only seen one of the three. Oh, actually, I, I might have seen one or both of the others more than twenty years ago and don't remember. Uh, but I I had three written down. I had Rounders, Boiler Room, and The Cooler. Yeah. And I couldn't really remember what any of them were about. I think one's about playing cards, and I think R one's about stonks. Ra ra rounders is about cards. Cards. Boiler room is stonks. Is stonks and cooler and cooler is about oh, back to cards. It's gambling, but yeah. Not necessarily. Not, cards. It, yeah, it's actually not yeah. not cards, but yeah. And I I had in my head that one of these is like a cool movie, yeah, <laughs> which is Rounders, I think. I think it's People Rounders. People consider Rounders the. Cool I think it's Rounders, yeah. yeah. But I couldn't remember, so I wrote all three down. <laughs> yeah. I always get Rounders confused with Suicide Kings. No, what's Damn it. what's the one with Vince Vaughn and John Favreau? Swingers or swingers. maids. Yeah. I always get swingers and rounders confused. Yeah. Like in my brain. I yeah, think yeah. Like, yeah, that happens in that. And you're like, I don't know, maybe it does. I mean, set eight letters, ends in ERS, has <laughs> sure. guys in it. <laughs> dudes rock movies. Yeah, you know what? They're both dudes rock movies. Yeah. As was, I don't know, like almost every movie pre-2000. Yeah, 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 that's very <laughs> Literally almost everyone. Yeah. Uh, like it's, it's hard to find a movie, like it's hard to find a 1900s movie Without at least one dude rocking. Yes, that's true. Or, or uh, like a mainstream movie that doesn't have 
eight male leads, and then the number <laughs> one ranked woman is like bitchy wife, and, and has four minutes of screen yeah. time. Yeah, like it's especially Be- like before the lead actor kills her. <laughs> like, and especially like any like Scorsese movie. Like, yeah, name the best female. Oh my god, what in a Martin <laughs> Scorsese movie? You can't what, do what it. What a Final Jeopardy. You can't do it. <laughs> name a just name a woman in a Martin Scorsese movie. Uh, whoever. Sandra Bernhardt, King of Comedy. <laughs> First and only. First and only. Yeah, that's You're true. You're welcome. That's true. Also, Happy to do it. Noted awful human being, Sandra Bernhardt. What a mouth on that bitch. Also, <laughs> adopted kids and then molested them? Or abused them? I mean, it's show business. <laughs> yeah, I think something bad with her. She and Roseanne sometimes. Yeah. She, she's in that same crowd. Just, like, hang out. I don't know, like, what her relation was to anyone on the show. It's just like, oh, here's Sandra Bernhardt again. This is my other, other cousin. Yeah. Uh, apparently she said some racist stuff about Mariah Carey once. <laughs> that, I think you're... Uh, are, you, are you allowed to say racist stuff about, like, mixed people? I don't know. Maybe... Maybe it's not Sandra Bernhardt I'm thinking of, although I think it is. Or is it Paula Poundstone? Oh, it's Paula Poundstone. It's Paula Poundstone. Yeah. yeah. My I'm apologies like, they, to Sandra I'm Bernhardt. Like, did they both do that? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Um, okay. Did you keep Benicio Del Toro for 21 Grams? Yes. Did you keep Jaiman Hansu for In America? Yes. Even though he's the wrong kind of immigrant? Yeah, but they killed him. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're with it. Yeah. It evened out. The white people came in and the black guy died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, it hurts to laugh so hard. I'm, uh, I'm not going to get in trouble. But I can probably never be president. If, if that's the balance, I'm okay with. Yeah, I guess that's true. Like, I'm not going to go to jail. No, you could. I'm g- <laughs> Anyone can be president. Oh, I can, I can, oh you're saying I'm, I'm still being too negative. I can still be president. Yeah. Okay. You can do some real I mean, if Ted, stuff. If Ted Cruz can be president. Yeah. And the Zodiac. Or Jeb. <laughs> or Jeb exclamation mark. I'm big Jeb man. Uh, <laughs> did you keep Ken Watanabe? Yeah. Me too. So... I kept, so I kept. You kept all five. All five are in my possible seven plus plus two, but the two I think are cuts. I just wanted to mention them. I think one of my other two is one of your cuts, and I am keeping him. Okay, because I love him. So the two I think I'm cutting. Okay, one. Uh, very, much like we said last time about uh, Clifton Collins Jr. Uh-huh. A very underrated yes. character actor. Always good, but he didn't have a lot of screen time in the in the movie that, that I, I will mention. Yeah, but I thought what his screen time was was very good. Okay, and that was uh, Cliff Curtis in Whale Rider. Okay, yeah. So there's sure. like the, a couple scenes where he's trying to be a good dad and he's very emotional in those yep. scenes, but he just wasn't in the movie enough. Yeah. Is it something about guys named Cliff? Cliff or Clifton. Yeah. And are, are ethnic. Because and he, are he, ethnic. He's Maori and Cliff Collins. Clifton Collins is like Mexican. He's sure something. He, he's a mutt. <laughs> he's a mutt. Um, the other one that I wanted to mention, I'm going to delete it as I go, uh, was just because it, it's a ridiculous, ridiculous role. Uh, Harry Shearer, A Mighty Wind. <laughs> I've got Fred Willard a mighty wind. Oh, yes. Yeah. Wow. And I think he's in the five. Okay. Okay. That's... I mean, what happened? What happened? <laughs> I got a wheel wed wagon. I can't not. I don't think so. I, it's it's too good. Okay. Fred's in. I'm, Fred is one of the five. I'm cutting Alec Baldwin for the cooler. Not because I don't like it. But, but because, because his name is Shelly. His name is Shelly. <laughs> Uh, no, that's not. So I, the one person that I wanted to give the mention to uh-huh. is staying in. Oh, okay. So what do you got? My my one other one who I think I'm cutting, which gets it down to six at least, is Albert Finney, Big Fish. He, I wanted to get him in there, but I just it's had too hard, too many people. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, he, so he's very good. I'm gonna I'm gonna cross him off now, but uh, worthy mention. 
So I have my five, and you have to cut one. Let's talk about. Let's, well, we haven't. I haven't said my last one. You haven't said. Okay, let's say your last, and then get back to another thing. Okay. Unless you want to save your last for a dramatic effect. No. No. Say so the one that originally I was like on the bubble of wanted to mention, but I think I'm given I'm giving a nomination to, yeah. majorly overlooked always. Mm -hmm. Andy Circus, Lord of the Rings. Oh, I yeah, I have him too. I didn't say. I, oh, wait, do I have eight? <laughs> you, that means you're back. To oh no, I guess I didn't have Alec Baldwin. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Oh, I, okay. So yeah, oh, good. Then I'm glad that I said him because I was one, like one, two, mm. three, four, five, six. So okay, yeah. So I had. Tim Robbins, Andy Serkis, Fred Willard, Jaimon Honsu, Benicio Del Toro, Ken Watanabe, right. and Albert Finney, but I'm, uh, I'm cutting, cutting Albert Finney now, so right. I'm down to six. But right. yes, so my... Uh, Good. Yeah, so I mean, that. I like that you and I nominate Doug Jones and Andy Serkis. Yes. <laughs> and it's not like Andy Serkis probably isn't going to get at least one more nomination, maybe, yeah. depending on how strong those two years those are. Those years, yeah. But... Um, yeah. Next I mean, acting isn't just saying lines. It's being a crazy person yeah, and being, <laughs> who does nothing and but physical, physical acting. Yeah. <laughs> and yep. he does two roles in this movie. Yep. So. Yeah, he's uh, he's Gollum and uh, Frodo. It, yes, he's Frodo. Yep. Yeah, he's definitely Frodo. <laughs> it's very impressive. <laughs> so you have to cut one. I have to cut one. But I was going to back to Albert Finney and Big Fish and crying. Ah. So. Uh, What's he? So I, I saw the movie, like at the time or maybe the next year like right. when it was on DVD or whatever Dividend. um and and it was one of those movies where you where people talk to you about it who have seen it and they're like oh you're going to cry <laughs> so I did yeah but I'm uh, and I'm interested and will never know if I would have had that same reaction if I hadn't been conditioned for it gotcha right you were expecting it I was expecting to and did yeah so you, but you build yourself. I was kind of primed like, for it. It's yeah, gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I'm just interested if if I if I knew nothing going in, no one had said anything. If it would have been the same, maybe it would have been, but I don't know, and never will. Yeah, I, I've had that before too. Yeah, with uh, the that the documentary movie about the tragically hip, long time coming. Oh yeah, because like you know, yeah, that Gord Downey <laughs> is dead. <laughs> you do, and you know this is the last performance they're ever gonna do. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like the whole time, I'm like, well, I might as well just start building I guess it I'll... up now because it's gonna <laughs> happen at the end. <laughs> I'm gonna edge cry this whole movie. Oh, I love an edge cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was me. <laughs> but uh, okay, do you know? Do you know who you're cutting? You you don't. I really don't. Do you know who's winning? No, wow. I don't know that either. Well, I, I think, guess I gotta figure it out. I think this is the first time, and like it took us until two thousand three, which is crazy, that four people in the category are all winning. <laughs> like, yeah, this one's a very tough one. I honestly like, like a film person would tell me to cut Fred Willard. Sure. But I'm not. <laughs> but that's the thing is the, the Academy I, always overlooks those kind of roles. Yeah. Because I comedy, love and him it's, and, it's hard, and he's so good. And it's it's really hard to nominate comedic performances for real uh, awards yeah. because everybody considers that to be so retarded. <laughs> and like I think you keep Circus for to appreciate that. I think you keep Tim Robbins because he got raped. <laughs> you know what? He gets raped a lot. He gets raped a lot. Yeah. He's a yeah. He's asking. Man, for look what he's wearing. He does get raped. A lot. Get raped a lot. <laughs> look, look what he's wearing. <laughs> Damn, Tim. So there's three. Right. Jaimon Hansu, really good. Benicio del Toro, really good. Ken Watanabe, really good. And no matter which two I pick, I get at least some diversity. <laughs> so yeah. I'm not a bad guy that anymore. Even though that stuff I said about Jaimon Hansu's character yeah. earlier. <laughs> yeah. You get you get a Mexican, a Japanese, or a vaguely African. A Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> huh. So what the fuck do you do there? You so I would do you have your five? Yeah, I got Tim Robbins, Benicio del Toro, Jaimon Hansu, Ken Watanabe, and Andy Circus. And I have those and Fred Willard. Yeah. Fuck. And fuck, it's not fuck, like fuck. if you chose Fred Willard over someone, I would be like, you're the bad decision. You're dumb. No. But I'd be like, yeah, yeah, of course. That's that's one of the most quotable things from any Christopher Guest movie. I'm trying to think who's got to go from oh, that what happened? group. Maybe. I mean, Watanabe's really strong in Last Samurai. 
the need. If only for screen time, I might cut Jaiman Hansu. Okay. Sure. I think Benicio I, and Ken do more. Yeah, Benicio's in a large chunk of the movie. Yeah. And Ken, Ken as soon as they get to Japan, yeah. he's in he's, pretty much the whole movie. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. I have to do something, so let's do that. Sure. Sorry, black guy. <laughs> they, they killed you and then I cut you. Spoilers for In America, by the way, guys. They fucking... Uh, Jaiman Hansu they fucking... Straight <laughs> up. Jaiman Hansu fucking dies. <laughs> Uh, oh, and then, oh, and then on uh, insult to injury. Now I have to pick a winner. Yeah, I just got it down to five. I why, have a winner. Why are you doing this to me? Tell me your winner, and I'll see if I'll steal it. Uh, so like I had mentioned that there was. I mean, I almost want to give the Oscar to Fred, Fred Willard, Willard, but <laughs> probably yeah, yeah. not. I, I think it's enough that he's not. Like I had mentioned that there's one movie that I think I like a lot more than other people. Oh. Um, oh, it's The Last Samurai. It's The Last Samurai. Yes, it is. I absolutely love The Last yeah. Samurai. I, I, I like it no, fine. Number one, but I love the idea. Tom Cruise. I love the idea of White Saviors. Old, old school Imperial Japan yeah. and modern like weaponry and like the, the struggle to get it out of yes. old times into modern times. But there is nothing I love more in cinema white than white savior. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> because how would the world have even evolved if white people oh hadn't gone in and made the changes? <laughs> uh, what was I, the, what was I the, am looking better and better as this podcast what, rolls along. What was the other white savior movie I watched somewhat recently that I was just like white people? <laughs> woo woo. <laughs> Ah, crap. It was something else like that, though, where, like, somebody goes into a foreign land and, like, teaches them how to, and like, fixes drink water or something. Oh, uh, Dangerous Minds. <laughs> Dangerous Minds. <laughs> oh, I don't remember what it was now, but I'm sure I'll, I'll remember eventually. But... Blood Diamond? No. <laughs> it was... Uh, somebody goes in... Oh, no, no. It was uh, a very a very bad movie, but it was... Uh, what the hell is it called? Twelve Strong with uh, oh. Chris Hemsworth, where... It, There's not 12 rounds with John, John Cena, Cena? Or 12 rounds 2 with Randy Orton. Mm. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, that was another great white savior movie. Or The the Mission with mm. uh, Bob De Niro. Bobby. Also another one I think that's like kind of a white savior. Uh, Nothing anyways, better. Uh, I'm giving it Makes you feel good. I'm giving it to Ken Watanabe because it's... Give it I, to he's, Ken. Uh, he's, uh, the, the final scene, spoiler alert... Uh, when they're charging across the field and yeah. like all the, I mean that that whole scene of him and Tom Cruise like being friends, yeah, uh, yeah, totally gets me every time. So I'm like, yeah, that that's that's a movie I love. Ken's uh, Ken's in there. Robin Circus Willard Benicio Ken. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Do I have? My, I've got all my other winners. So this is the one. This is the one I... And because I have all my other winners, I get to spend at least 25 minutes sure. mauling this one over. Sure. And no one is allowed to get mad at me. I will try not to. <laughs> but I make no promises. Okay. That's we, are, we are vaguely on a time crunch. Mildly so. encouraging. Mildly We're autistic. So... Mildly meaning he's very autistic. Anywho. Oh no, I just realized I missed somebody for best actor. Shit. Apologize to that actor. No, because I haven't Send them we're not on best actor yet. Send them fan mail with a <sighs> vial of your bone marrow. Does that mean I gotta add some him in? No, because I already know who my winner is, so it doesn't matter. Ugh. My apology well we'll get there. We'll get there. Anyways, <laughs> who are you who are you choosing? Great question. Oh my god. This is gonna take forever. Oh yeah. The, I, this is some of the most torn I've ever been. Robin's got I'm raped, torn. and I'm already hurt. <laughs> thanks, I'm already torn. thanks, Natalie. Natalie in Bruglia, in Bruglia. I wonder, Natalie in Bruglia. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> nice. <laughs> She's Scottish and Belgian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I redo the whole thing and give it to Alec Baldwin. <laughs> what do you think about that? You motherfucker. Turn of events. I mean, I do like a guy named Shelley. His character was very fun. Yeah, he's very fun. Because he was, he was an asshole, but 
a lovable asshole. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. He, but yeah, he was... Because they were bigger assholes yeah. that made him look, look okay. Look, 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 yeah, he, yeah, he was in the middle. Yeah, his yeah. heart was kind of in the right place. Yeah. I have to make a decision. Yeah... I'm gonna blow up the levels until you make a decision, Maybe, and then it's gonna ruin blow the podcast. Up the levels, <laughs> well, I don't know what yeah, as a punishment. Yeah. I'm gonna ruin the show. Uh, oh. I'm gonna enact my one steal. And from what we have all the same and people. give it to Ken. Oh, okay. I was like, that's not a steal if you have them on your. What list. are you doing? Have you forgotten how? <laughs> what words are you go? even doing? <laughs> all right, so Ken, Ken across the board. Ken across the okay, board. Good. Okay, good. We did I, it. I actually really like Ken. I thought he was he was very good in Letters to Me with Jima. Yep. Um, and I remember he's he's very good in most movies he's in, even if they're bad movies. I liked him in like Godzilla because Godzilla was bad, but he's good in it. And Inception is secretly and bad. And he's Inception good in is it. bad, but he's very good in it. Uh, okay, best winning actress. Inception was nominated for best picture. What? Was Inception nominated for Best Picture? Yes. Yeah, it was, wasn't yeah. it? Uh, so, Best Supporting Actress. It's definitely one of those movies that the more you think about it, the dumber it is. It's just very Christopher Nolan, like, adding layers to something, but without actually thinking about how that works. Yeah. It's just like, oh, what if we also did this? Okay, but also this and this. Like, uh, Chris, that none of that. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We're filming it. Chris, you're not as smart as you think you are. Yeah, your head is really far up your own butt right yeah. now. Just because you're, you're the rare mix of pretentious and autistic, <laughs> you're not also a genius. Yeah, you're not God. You're not yeah. the movie God. That is Woody Allen. Yeah. yeah. King. Uh, Number one with the bullet. So best supporting actress, the winner was Renee Zellweger for uh, Cold Mountain. I kept her. She was fun. Who the fuck is Renee Zellweger? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I kept her, yeah. Uh, I kept Shohare Ashdashlu for House of Sand Shohare Agdashlu. Agdashlu. Yes. I, ke I kept her for House of Fog. I like her. I, I, she pops up in various TV and movies. Yeah. Always like her. I think I really like her accent. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go out and say I we, I'm weirdly very attracted to her. Younger her, yes. Even now, older her, I'm in. I'm all for it. I mean, she yeah, she's. She's decent in 03 here. I mean, I don't need her nice. now. She's 69. Nice. nice. <laughs> I'm, I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm in. I think she's. I think she's a babe. No, she's cute. She reminds me of another actress. She kind of reminds me of like a an Iranian like, Catherine Zeta Jones. I don't know, like an Iranian Isabella Rossellini. Okay. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, what, what was she was in something else that we talked about? She was. Uh, was she on Twenty Four? She was on Twenty Four. Yeah, yeah. She's in a season. She's in one season. She's, she's, like in, a, she's a, in season four. Okay. Yeah, I feel like she was like a mainish character in yeah, one season. I feel like maybe there was a movie. But she she shows up. She gets work. <laughs> Eh, I don't know, maybe, but yeah, I'm I'm into her. I'm really yeah. I'm really into her. I like her a lot. I uh, okay. We're, sorry, where the fuck are we? Um, didn't keep Patricia Clarkson because who the fuck watches watched pieces of April? Uh, no one, but I do like Patricia Clarkson. Yes. Uh, I kept Marsha. Well, Marsha Gay Harden for Mystic River is in contention. I didn't keep her because like I like her. The movie's good. I don't know if she does a lot besides be kind of mad at uh, Tim Robbins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, she's still in contention because I have too many. So fair. Uh, and then I didn't didn't keep Holly Hunter for thirteen because whatever. I also did not. So I only have I've two for sure, one maybe, and four other maybes. Okay, I've got. Uh, so in terms of uh, ones were nominated or just oh, just, that's your whole thing. I have Renee Zellweger yeah. and Agdashulu. And maybe Marsha Gay Harden. And maybe Marsha yeah. Gay Harden. And then on top of that, Another four? four other people so, all in contention. Yeah. So I've, I've got just the two that were nominated for sure. Yeah. And then my other three were not. Okay. So have you got, I think you do because you like the movie. Do you have Maria Bello for The Cooler? I do. Nice. Do you have do you Christina Ricci for Monster? 
Oh, I oh. don't. I don't. I do. Maybe a steal. We'll see. Could be a steal. I do. You have Jessica Lang for Big Fish. I don't, hmm. but I'm not mad at anyone okay. who does. Do you have Catherine O'Hara for a Mighty Wind? Yes. Nice. Do you have Jane Lynch for a Mighty Wind? I don't, because uh, I've named all of mine. But I also love those Jane are Lynch. my considerations. Okay. For I, your consideration, another Christopher for, Guest movie yeah. with Catherine O'Hara in it. That's true. I think I'm going to get rid of Marcia Gay Harden for the exact same reason you said. Yeah, I mean, she's perfectly good. I yeah. just don't think she does anything she's that She's done a lot to the movie. Crazy, yeah. It was mostly, I wrote, I kept her because that was a weak category at the start of movies yeah. that, I, you know, that were like in the category. Yeah, just to have a placeholder. Like, hey, if no one shows up, she's a fine nominee. Yes, I'm going to get, even though Jane Lynch's character is very fun, yeah. I feel like Catherine O'Hara is more important to the Be- story. Between the two, I would do yeah. Catherine O'Hara, yeah. So I'm going to keep uh, Jessica Lang for Big Fish, Maria Bella for The Cooler, and Catherine O'Hara for A Mighty Wind. Okay, and that's your five? That's my five. Along with Renee and Shore. Shore. Uh, yeah, so I got uh, Renee, Shore, Catherine O'Hara, Maria Bello, Christina Ricci. Yeah. I don't have a winner. This I is, have a winner. This is hard for me. I'm going to tell you my winner, and then it, should you cho- choose to Ken Watanabe it, okay. feel free. Catherine O'Hara. Loved her. I loved her. I, I I guess it depends on how we look at this as uh, people doing the podcast as opposed to being people in the Academy. <laughs> I'm in the Academy. I'm both. I'm bi. You're bi? Bi species? Yes. And bisexual. And bi curious. And bike curious. I... Uh, but I mean I want to give it to our girl and by our girl I mean my girl uh, Shore Shore's good I mean, Santa Fog. yeah I really like that movie by the way me too yeah, yeah me too I had that is a movie, that is a movie I had Zero. I mean, I I had heard of it. It it struck. I think just because of the title, it struck me as an old people movie. It sounds like a like old people falling in love in yeah. their later life after their like partners absolutely. have died. And, yeah, it is not that. Yeah, absolutely, it is. Yeah, not that. I was I like <laughs> when I like when it became clear what the story was. I'm like, oh, this is. Much more exciting than I was yeah. expecting. Uh, that That is a very uh, fuckable movie because <laughs> Je- Jennifer Conley Jennifer Conley is like Show Ray Agdash so Lou. hot. The boy. <laughs> the little boy. S-Mile. Can we talk about S-Mile? <laughs> what, what a hunk. <laughs> No, we can't talk about Esmile because he's 32 now. Oof. Too old. Get out. So what Nobody was he then? So he was like 13 then. Good. Right in your wheelhouse. Right in the sweet <laughs> spot. <laughs> um, okay, so best supporting, or best uh, lead actress, uh, of course, the winner was... Best big girl. Shirley's Theron for Monster. I kept her. Kept her. Uh, did you keep Keisha Castle Hughes for Whale Rider? Late... She's in for me by default. I didn't think she was bad, but I also don't find kid actors to be very good. Yeah. So I thought she did good considering she was in almost the entire movie. Yeah, no, she like handled herself very well. But I, and also at the time, youngest Best Actress nominee ever. That's true. Only to be beaten by Benjamin Wallace. Uh, hush puppy. I did not keep Diane Keaton for Something's Gotta Give. Nope. I've seen it. And I don't remember a thing about it. Fair enough. I kept Samantha Morton for In America. Me too. And I kept Naomi Watts for 21 Grams. Me too. Which means we, we have, have said three of mine and four of yours. One, two, three, four. Who said four? Nope, I said three. Shirley's Throne. Yep. Oh, you, you cut I don't Keisha have Castle. Keisha. Uh, yeah, the only one I added was uh, Scarlett Johansson, Lost I in Translation. I added Scarlett Johansson, and I think it's a travesty that neither you or the Academy nominated Jennifer Connelly for House of Sand and Bug. Oh, the aforementioned hot babe. The aforementioned hot babe. If you want to replace some dumb little kid with her, feel yeah. free. I would, I would, <laughs> yeah, I would, I I would very much like <laughs> to replace a dumb little kid. <laughs> Problem solved. So, do we have the same? That means we'd have the same. What a copier. Same five. 
I love giving. <laughs> I love telling you to do it and then calling you a copier. Yeah. That's After the move. you've done it several times. I don't remember that. Yeah. I. Do I definitely didn't pick my best supporting actor winner because that's what you said. Based off what I said, yeah. No. Um, did you? Do you have a winner? Yes. I. I'm torn because. I know that someone probably deserves to win. Which I which I think which I know exactly what you're saying, and I think that's who I have. Okay. Uh, that's who I have highlighted as okay. my winner, but it's one of those things that I think I've said in the past on previous episodes that Hollywood loves body transformation. They sure do. I don't as much. No. Sometimes I'm really into it, sometimes I'm not. But also the acting was very good very like good. the voice was on point yeah. and if we're not going to give Tim Robbins best supporting actor for getting raped ah should we give it to get Charlize Theron for getting yeah raped? I think Charlize yeah. Theron for I, Monster I think you yeah I think you have to give it to one I, rape victim I, per Oscars I was contemplating Naomi Watts 21 Grams she's really good but I, I think Charlize yeah like I'm not always for body transformations yeah I hear as you. much as that takes great dedication to the role it's not acting that has nothing to do with the acting yeah like prosthetics gaining yeah. weight losing weight yeah this this happened like, to be really, really good acting yeah. on top of that, which is great. And By all means, rape. do that. And there was and rape. rape. But Naomi Watts is always great. She's in so many good things. She really is. Yeah. Yeah, she's an amazing Book actress. of Henry. Book of Henry. Let's talk about it. <laughs> the Ring, The Ring 2. She's in a lot of good stuff. Anyways, uh, so Best Supporting Actor. Or Best Regular Actor, even. Oh, sorry. Best... Best regular non-supporting actor. Best regular what, gay. What if they call that? What if they call it best supporting and best non-supporting? Mm. <laughs> Very stupid. Um. So the winner originally was Sean Penn for Mystic River. I kept him. Kept him. I think it's Sean Penn's best movie. I agree. Right. I I agree. I'm well, Sam, I'm, I'm Sam. I'm Sam. No. <laughs> Obviously. No, I, I think it, yeah, I think you're right. It's his best movie. Yeah. Um, I, I liked did, him a lot. I did not keep Johnny Depp for Pirates of the Caribbean. The but, however, I will state. That this was the beginning of Johnny Depp doing Captain Jack Sparrow. Yes. So if there hadn't been four other movies, I would have maybe considered it. If but if Pirates of the Caribbean was a standalone yes. movie, or if there had only been like two, maybe three. Yeah. But not with that, five out and a six but since coming. Five movies. He's not in the six because he got canceled. Even though. Even though he did nothing wrong. Even though Amber Heard uh, is a bitch. He, and, and, like, he did this. There's four other ones. But then every other character he's done between this movie and currently... Has been a weird, just Captain Jack annoying Sparrow. version of yeah. Jack Sparrow. In other words, I think I maybe would have kept him. Because it, it is a good character. It is. Character yeah, if it, yeah, honestly, but, if it was just this, it'd be a lot better conversation. Um, my apologies to Ben Kingsley for House of Sand and Fog. I forgot to put him on. Oh. And I don't think I can cut him. Really? Really, I, I don't think I can cut anybody for him. I kept him. I have I'm, my five. I'm interested who you yes, are keeping indeed. otherwise. Uh, I kept Jude Law for Cold Mountain. Late cut for me. Oh. And I kept Bill Murray for Lost in Translation. I kept Bill Murray for Lost in Translation. Did which you add? Leaves me with two. Did you add William Henry Macy for The Cooler? I don't know if his middle name is Henry, but I'm going to assume. But a solid guess. I mean, William sounds like old school and. I mean, yeah, it's Will. Will is short for William, but the Will H. Will Henry Macy. No, you're supposed to give me his middle name, you motherfuckers. Guess I gotta go Wikipedia. I hope it is. I hope you're right. William Hall. Hall. Hall Macy Jr. He's seventy-one. He's Good a, for him. He's fucking old, and he's Cause, cause and was, he's married to Felicity Huffman. Yes, he is. I was kind of thinking that because I'm watching the cooler. I'm like, this is 2003, and he already looks and he looks already. pretty old yeah, in this. I'm sure. like, how the fuck old? I didn't think to you actually look at his age. I kind of figured he was in his late 50s, but I'm mm. like, he looks in his 50s here. Yeah. And guess what? He is. He is. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it works out. So did you uh, keep my my William last my, Hall Macy? My last two cuts were Jude Law and William Hall Macy. Interesting. Yeah. So we've got Sean Penn and Bill Murray, and that's it. I have Kingsley. The, the same. Same. Yes. And then you have Kingsley. I have Macy. Yeah. The one that I'm I wrote down because I wanted to mention it, but I'm it's not staying. Okay. Is Tom Cruise for the Last Samurai? Sure. 
I thought he was. I thought it was one of his better, yeah. actual acting. He roles, did some good white but, saving, but it's before he became a lunatic. So yeah. that's why publicly, publicly. <laughs> so, but I, I do think that he deserves a little bit of recognition. So I have Penn Law, Bill Murray, and uh, Hall Macy, and one more. Okay, I've got Penn Kingsley Murray, Paul Giamatti for American Splendor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was a uh, he was on the list but got cut. And Patty Considine for in America. America is he your guy or just no? Someone you're agreeing with someone, was good. They, I'm agreeing he was good. Okay, uh, so the, you still have one? I have so I still have one more. I'm intrigued. Uh, also considered giving him a best supporting actor nomination, but there was too many good ones. Uh, Hiroyuki Sanada for the Twilight Twilight Samurai. Samurai. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Very, very good. I don't know a lot. I don't know anyone that's seen that movie. No. And I, I just randomly was like, I want to look up non Kurosawa, like, yeah. um, and non, like, big time samurai movies. And that was, like, one of the highest ones. Yeah. So and I was like. Shout out to two movies with samurai in the title getting yeah. Oscar nominations yeah. this year. And he's also in The Last Samurai. He, yes, he's like, oh, he's like yeah, an yeah. apprentice guy, or he's number one, or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that those are my five. All right. I have a winner. I have a winner. As I, much as I think Sean Penn's very good, I did not give it to Sean Penn. I agree with all the things you just said. Okay. Is your winner also Bill Murray lost? Yes, it is. Hey. Very nice. It. Very. I don't nice. know how you can't give it to him. He's so good. In he's this. so good in it. He's he's literally playing Bill Murray, <laughs> like, <laughs> not like an exaggerated Bill Murray. Like, yeah, everything about that movie is like, uh, it's such a beautiful film. I love it. Wow, good. I'm glad. I I kind of thought that it, we would he would be our both of our best uh, actors. Yeah. So we we both kept Shirley's. We both chose Bill Murray. We both had Ken Watanabe. <laughs> that was me being a copy. Yeah, yeah but still, but that, that's good. I had to pick someone. Uh, okay, best director. I have six, but I think I know who I'm cutting. I have six, and I think I know who I'm okay. cutting. So the winner was Peter Jackson for Lord of the Rings: The Return of the King. Captain. I kept him. Yes. Uh, Fernando Morelish for City of God. He's the one I think I'm cutting. I kept him. He's one or there's two. It's him or someone else that's getting cut. Me too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I kept Sofia cool. Coppola for Lost in Translation. Me too. I kept Clint Eastwood for Mystic River. Me too. I added uh, Alejandro G. and Yuritu for 21 Grams. Me too. And I added Edward Zwick for The Last Samurai. I added Jim Sheridan for In America. And it's kind of between... I can't argue with that. It's kind of between him and uh, Fernando. Right. For the last spot, right. like I, I'm, I think I'm for sure keeping Jackson Coppola in Yuritu Eastwood. Right, and that, and I, I said I think I know who I'm cutting, and I think I'm cutting Fernando. I think City God's very good. It's very, very good. Um, yeah, very good. But I think I'm going Jim Sheridan. I so can't, I can't five. argue with that, and I think I'm going to cut Edward Zwick. I think I'm just being too loyalist to the Last Samurai. Like <laughs> I understand, like I love Do that. I love, it I, I love too that much. movie, but I understand that City of God, Twenty One Grams, Lost in Translation, Mystic River, and Lord of the Rings, from a directing and, and visual standpoint or uh -huh. and story standpoint, are a better movie. So sure. I, I mean, or at least like a better production. So yeah. Now, now comes the real question. Do you have a winner? Yes. Okay. I have a winner, but I'm... How do you feel about I'm it? I'm up in the air about it. This is a, this is a real... You're a George Clooney... I'm a, no, no, no. I'm, so, I'm Sophia... I'm a... Um, uh, ver, ver, Vera Farmiga. Vera Farmiga. <laughs> yeah. It's not Sophia Vergara. I'm Vera Farmiga. <laughs> Vera Farmiga, uh, Sophia Vergara, Sophia Vergara, Vera Farmiga. Same person. Same thing. I was introducing them to each other. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, it's they've, a, they've probably met, right? Yeah, for sure. Celebrities know each yeah, other. Yeah, they know each other. Celebrities, they're, they're just like us. They're just like regular people, guys. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's a real you nominating James Cameron for best director. Is for, yes. Is for me with Peter Jackson. because For, uh, for awarding it to Peter for Jackson? For awarding it to Peter Jackson. It, me too. Because... 100%. I obviously it's an realize achievement. It's, it's maybe the greatest achievement 
in cinema as far as like a production standpoint yeah. and a filming and creating new new ways and new things yeah. to film a movie and to to capture so much magic in that in the whole trilogy and then to just totally fucking blow it on the Hobbit is almost more impressive. <laughs> and even like King Kong's not very good. King Kong sucks. <laughs> like, he, you know, it's not like he's. I mean, I like him as a person. And yeah. Lord of the Rings movies are honestly three of my like favorite. Maybe not my favorite movies because you obviously can't sit and watch them all the time. Yeah. You know, you can't go like, I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to spend my, my whole day watching the extended cuts of all three movies, right? You know what's fucked up? You. You only see Sauron, a major bad guy, <laughs> die in the extended cut yeah, of Return of the King. That's fucking ridiculous. It's just sort of implied yeah. in the theatrical version. Yeah, he's dead. I think, like, I think the last thing you see in the theatrical is just like Treebeard is like hanging on to him, and that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And hmm. then in the extended one, like I think his servant kills him or something. Is it his servant? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it's very weird that that, like, really, like, Christopher Lee dying is not in the regular maybe, cut? Maybe it was in Christopher Lee's contract that he couldn't die on screen <laughs> in, a, in, a hundred, in his 100th movie or something. <laughs> you know, I thought that'd be fair. Yeah. Could, have been, could have been in the room. Um, I mean, that being said, it's hard to not give it to Peter Jackson. That's the thing. But I really think Sofia Coppola deserves it. She did. I mean, she did awesome. Yeah. But I, I think it's really hard to say no. Peter Jackson didn't do the best job directing the best job directing this, a movie this that year. insanely huge yeah. thing. You know, it, it's just so hard yeah. to not give I'm, it to him. I'm going Jackson. Yeah, and and the, the, the same thing too is like is the, like this is the culmination of a a pretty a, a pretty good first one and a mediocre middle one and an amazing third one. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, the second one's got a lot of boring shit in it, but yeah, it's got a lot I, of good stuff. The, the first one is also very, very there's lot, good. There's a lot of walking. I mean, it's a lot, a lot of walking, walking. As, as Clerks 2 taught us. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> this is yeah. the first one. Yeah. But, but, but. This is the second one. <laughs> <laughs> hits, hits a rock. <laughs> 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 I mean, yeah, it, 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 the, the, this is really like a masterpiece of, of, of a great thing, right? Yeah. So yeah, it's really hard to not give it to Peter Jackson. Yeah, I agree. Um, okay, so so best picture, the original winner was Lord of the Rings: Return of the King. I kept it. I kept it. I kept Lost in Translation. I kept it. Neither of us kept Master and Master Bader and Commander. Okay. Fuck Master and Commander. All right. How many nominations did it have? Like ten. Ten. Yeah. I mean, a lot of a lot like, of. A lot of bullshit ones, but like Lord of the Rings had eleven, Master and Commander yeah. had ten. I, One yeah. less than Lord of the Rings. I don't think that it's as bad as people say. Yeah, I, I'm not saying it's. Good, I think you're but, wrong. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Here's the only defending thing I will say about it is from Rus a, Russell Crowe likes fighting around the world. He does like fighting around the world. Uh, from a practical, like. No stage, no stages, no green screen. It's a lovely boat. No, like you know, like like actually being out in the ocean on these ships, filming and stuff. That's pretty fucking badass. Like sure. that, that's, yeah, yeah. That, that's a very old school way of making a movie. Yeah, I'll I'll, thing, I'll respect the directing of it. Yeah, like the the production is cool. Yeah, the just the movie is the, a lot of the sailing. screenplay. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about i am i am not someone who falls asleep at movies period okay even like late at night like if i'm watching a movie and intend to watch it to the to its completion i will watch to it its natural conclusion. to its natural conclusion and then i also will naturally conclude i have fallen asleep mid-afternoon <laughs> to master and commander yeah three separate uh, times you have to call it by its real name master and commander colon the far side of the world thank you <laughs> Three times, fuck this movie. It's the most yeah. boring movie in the world. Yeah, it, it, it's it, it's boring, but it's not like it's not like I've never seen other boring movies before. I haven't. Oh, every other movie I've seen, as they've sold me the whole seat, but I've only needed the edge. Ooh. This one, whole seat and fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I fell asleep the third Pirates of the Caribbean. Or maybe the second. Second Pirates of the Caribbean in Well, theaters. are we talking about Dead Man's Chest or At World's End? 
uh, Dead Man's Chest. Well, that would be two. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Why do I know them? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, have, I, have I seen them? Nope. I've, I've never seen, like, Squid Face. Let's watch five. I don't want to watch five. But you, then you'll see the last one. They're doing six. Yeah, but it's not any depth. I want it does, does it star Amber Heard as <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow? They, they didn't take Did her she get his no. job? No. Also, can we do that? That would be very funny. That would be very funny. Um, 17. Is Orlando it, Bloom the It star? just says Untitled Pirates of the Caribbean Project. Oh, so it's going to be a minute before it, it comes It doesn't out. say anything. It's going to be like it, four it years before has it has no comes cast. Out. Well, if it's got none of that, can't they just put... If they've done nothing, can't they just put Johnny Depp back in it? You'd think. Or have they dug their heels in? You'd think. On a wrongfully accused guy. Yeah, no. It's. I love how much they don't care. They really Like, don't. nobody's like, oh, we misjudged him. They're like, no, he's a man. He's a bad guy. We can't, <laughs> yeah. we can't support him. Also, I'm going to be honest about something. I, every time I say them, think about them, hear them, or see them, I have to remember the difference between Amber Heard Johnny Depp's yeah. uh, abuser and Amber Tamblin <laughs> David Cross's wife. David Cross's wife and daughter of the incomparable Russ Tamblin huh, there you go I think we should watch Pirates 5 so that you can continue your tradition of only seeing the last one in a franchise it is fun because six might not even ever come out or it's... they gotta wait till the climate's cooler and then Johnny can do it yeah, a guy who did nothing wrong could do a, <laughs> yeah. a movie franchise that he's been in every one yeah. of. <laughs> and is like the main that player. He's the star of. And they literally wrote out Orlando Bloom for a while so that Johnny Depp could be the guy. Yeah. And then they brought him back in the line. Yeah, Orlando Bloom's getting too much pussy. He was. We gotta write him out. Isn't he married to or he's dating getting, Katy Perry? Getting all that sweet. I it was, I think it's over. Aw. Orlando. Yeah. All right, getting all buddy. that sweet Elizabethtown pussy. Uh, what's her face? Um... I don't know. Yeah. Kirsten Dunst? Kirsten Dunst, that's one. Uh, we're, we're, the original Manic Pixie Dream Girl? Uh, apparently they're still together, man. I think you're lying. Uh, oh, maybe you heard one before that. They, I, maybe I was thinking of Russell Brand. They, they just had a kid in August. So uh, they're, they're, they're probably okay. They get a dumb fucking name? G? Uh, Is no. it G? <laughs> it's uh, Liberty, like Cody Rhodes' fucking daughter. Sick. Liberty Rose, maybe, is her name? Liberty um, Rose Rhodes? Rhodes, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Cap Mystic River. Oh, I'm, look at Seabiscuit. They're sitting by itself, hanging out. Look at there, Seabiscuit. <laughs> Best Picture nominee, Seabiscuit. But uh, how I many mean, other things did it get nominated for? No acting. It had, it had seven, but I'm assuming it's all... It has screenplay? Film editing... Best costume, best art direction, best cinematography. Cinematography is uh, a legit award. Sound mixing. Did anyone have known? Like, did did Chivo do <laughs> cinematography? John Schwartzman. Oh, uh, Jason Schwartz. Jason's dad. dad. Yeah, for real. I think. Yeah, yeah. legit. Oh, it's kind of weird. That fucking family. Can they get enough jobs? Well, uh, <laughs> what is their last name? Well, we got some Schwartzmans and we got some Coppolas. There you go. So it's quite a, and some cages. It's quite a family. Yeah, cages is he's really cages just Coppola. <laughs> he's literally just his Coppola. name is Nicholas Coppola. Yeah, uh, it's it's interesting looking at powerful the, family. Looking at the cinematographers, like nominated ones. Yeah, th this might be the first year where it's not like a big name person because right. it's John Schwartzman for Sea Biscuit, yeah. Eduardo Serra for Girl with a Pearl Earring, mm. John Seal for Cold Mountain, Cesar Charlone for City of God, and Ooh, Russell Charlone. Boyd for Masturbator and Commander, huh. which won. Hmm. But like that's the first time where it's not like at least one like Chivo, or, Roger or Deakins. Deakins or something like yeah. a big name one, right? That's weird. I never never would have thought. Um who is the cinematographer I'm... for Lord of the Fucking Rings? <coughs> Chivo? Good question. It's not Chivo. Um is it didn't get nominated? Didn't get nominated. Interesting. Where's he got? Cinematography. Cinematography by Andrew Lesney. Uh who Andrew appears lesbian. to have just done the three Lord of the Rings movies, Babe, Pig in the City, hey. and Babe. Okay. And then a bunch of other bad... Oh, his career really took a downward post, swing. Post-L-O-T-R? Yeah, he did King Kong, I Am Legend, The Lovely Bones, The hmm. Last Airbender. Okay. 
The Hobbit, yeah, The talking. Hobbit 2, The Hobbit 3, and then he hasn't done anything since 2014. <laughs> That's because he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a twist. <laughs> he died what in April 2015. Oh, my goodness. R.I.P. He had a heart attack at 59. R.I.P. Andrew Lesney. Should have got nominated. Uh, okay. Damn. That means, so, Lord of the Rings, yes. Yes. Lost Translation, yes. yes. And you're debating Mystic River? It's between Mystic River and City of God. Okay. I have Mystic River. I cut City of God. Last, last one I cut. I uh, may well be doing the okay. same thing. I added so let, so let's say I do do that so we both have three with two to go yeah and they're the three same what yes. if the other two are the same I added twenty one grams I also added twenty one grams is your last one the goddamn last samurai because you love it so much of course, <laughs> <laughs> of course it is <laughs> it's not winning but I have to give what it what am I gonna do win. not nominate a white savior if, movie if masturbator and commander gets nominated in real life I get to nominate the last samurai on mine I guess that's fair. I could have put Brother Bear. You could, and I wouldn't be mad. Um, so I have the same four as you, and in lieu of The Last Samurai, I have A Mighty Wind. Gotcha. Is, is this the same argument as director? Or is it a different one? It's the same argument. Yeah. It's it's the exact same argument, actually. Yeah. But I, I now that I've given Peter director yeah i don't feel you don't want to give him i don't I, no I, I still might i don't feel as bound to give best picture also okay although it's certainly a possibility okay fair where where are you at are you like it's absolutely this or like it's it's it is for me the exact same same argument like it's one of the greatest pieces, both like story wise, like cinema wise, but like production wise. It's one of the biggest like things ever made. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to go. It, it would be like doing this for Lawrence of Arabia, but like in the year Lawrence of Arabia came out, like uh -huh. this massive production that will never happen on this scale ever again yeah. because even after this a lot of the Hobbit movies was green screen yeah. and CGI and stuff whereas this is like tons of like real world like big, huge sweeping shots of New Zealand and, and yeah. stuff right yeah but here, I, I really want to give it to Lost in Translation I, I, was, I was gonna say here's where I'm at I have Lord of the Rings Return of the King written down as my winner that being said, I want to give it to Lost in Translation. Mm -hmm. So what's a fella to do? Uh, I mean, it, first of all, none of this fucking matters. So do as you please. <laughs> but also, also uh -huh. it's not like... I mean, I want it to be right. I want it to be the right well, it's answer. It's not like Lost in Translation is the wrong answer. Uh-huh. Because it is, uh, like, an incredible movie. Like, yeah. it, it is easily, for me easily number two nah, oh yeah no number three last time no i'm just kidding <laughs> it's, it's easily number two so it just depends if you want to look at it from because like like i said lord of the rings you can't just sit down and say i'm gonna watch return of the king yeah and then three and a half four hours later you know like in theory you mm -hmm. can sit down and watch lost in translation anytime you want sure and you're you're gonna like Want yeah. to watch it? It's like Stella Dora Breakfast Treats. You can even eat them anytime. Yeah, or uh, Pringles. You can't just eat one. It's true. Except no. that's except that's Lay's. Lay's. <laughs> <laughs> I had Pringles on the brain, and I didn't see Lay's. Well, Pringles is, Pringles is a similar situation in that once you pop, you can't stop. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't imply more than one. In fact, it implies all of them. Pringles is actually more of a problem chip than Lay's because Lay's just implies you can't do one. Yeah, like you're gonna have to do a few. Yeah. Pringles, once you pop, you can't stop. Yeah, you have to eat you're, all of them. You're now chemically dependent mm -hmm. on them. Also, Pringles cannot legally call themselves potato chips. <laughs> that is very funny. That is a fun fact. <laughs> that is a very funny fact. <laughs> they don't meet the rigorous requirements of being, of a, being fried potato. a potato chip. <laughs> that said, I do like a Pringle. I like Pringles. Yeah. We, we actually eat a lot of uh, plain Pringles here. That's gar that's squalinger. No, they're, they're like no, they're the get, right amount of no, salty. Get a flavor. No, the right amount of salty. You get a barbecue 
You get a cheese. And a jalapeno. A jalapeno, absolutely. No. SMB? I'm, no SMB. SMB sucks. I like SMB. Get, um, no, I'm going to remove the plain Pringles from your house. All right. All right. I'm, I'm, it's an exorcism. I'm going to exercise the, the trash food from your house. Plain Pringles. What are you doing? Man, I want to give it to Lost in Translation, but it's it's, it's such an achievement. Yeah. Then, but that means we have to go back and give it to Avatar. No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this is an achievement and good. I gave Cameron a nomination because it was an achievement, but also bad. <laughs> yeah. This is good. Fuck. So what are you doing? Are you doing Lord of the Rings? I'm keeping Lord of the Rings. I, I I think it's too hard to take it away from Lord of the Rings. I mean, it's what I wrote down. Fair. You know, it, it is. At the end of the day, here's what I'm going to do. It's your choice. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a variation. On the thing you usually do? Yeah, a variation on the thing I usually do, which is I split the two between uh, director and picture. Right. What I'm going to do this time... Because I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Hear me out. <laughs> Hear me out. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give both to Lord of the Rings. But what I'm going to do is when we do our top tens for each year of this decade, I'm going to rank Lost in Translation higher than Lord of the Rings. I, How do yeah, you like that? I think that's fine. Because this, is, this isn't necessarily... Your favorite. It's what you think this is the deserves to of, win yeah. best picture. What this, you think yeah. deserves to win best director. This is the achievement of best best something. Because the other one is entirely personal taste. Yeah. This is you trying to award the award correctly. Yeah. It's not like, let's say that the year of John Wick, and I'd put John Wick as my number one movie. Uh -huh. It's not the best movie by academic standard. You don't think it should win the Oscar for Best Picture yeah. even though even if it's my favorite your favorite movie. and you thought it was yeah, great. That, yeah. That's about favorite. This is about like yeah. best. I'm I'm gonna do that. Okay. I agree with the rules of your Punjab yeah. prison. So Drew is uh, copying my answer for Best Picture. Let it let the record stay. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> and supporting actor. I'm gonna I'm and gonna, best actor. I'm gonna recut the podcast so <laughs> it looks like Watanabe when a supporting actor was my idea. I first. like I like that you think you have enough energy <laughs> to sit through a fucking chance do in any the world I would do that. Any of that. Are you kidding me? I don't listen to any of the, the <laughs> One of these podcasts only played on the left. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oops, sorry. <laughs> if, I guess if, I'll fix it. If you had headphones, it ruined your day. So yeah, I'm not doing a ton of work between right now and the time that y'all are hearing this. So we did what? One, two, three, four, five, five of the same. Five of six the same? And three of the same winners. Was it only three of the same winners? Charlize, Peter Jackson, Return of the King. Yeah. Right? Oh, you, you, did, you did... Bill Murray, Ken Watanabe. No, no, I meant of actual winners, sorry. Oh, like people pardon me, won pardon in me. Real life. So, One, Lord of the Rings, two, Peter Jackson, Charlize, three, uh, and Lost in Translation lost screenplay. For you. Yeah, yeah, so, pretty close. Not bad. The Oscars did okay. I, I'm, actually, I'm not looking at the awards. I'm not mad at any of the winners, no. like Sean Penn, Tim Robbins, yeah. Zell Wedger. Yeah. All good. Yeah. yeah, all good. All good, all good choices. All upstanding white citizens. Now let's see what happens next year. Next year is harder. Yeah, next year was kind of interesting. Next year's I, pretty I tough. was looking at it. Next year's pretty tough. I've still got a few to watch, but uh, Queer? Yeah. You got me. <laughs> uh, Alright. Trapped. Well, that was the 2003 taking place in 2004. Do Oscar you agree Oscars. with us? Do you think we're stupid? Do Let you even know. care? Do our, you even care about anything we're saying? Let or us do know. You just like to hear the sound of our voice. If you care about anything, our Twitter DMs are open. You can send us weird things. You can send us all the nudes you'd like if you're over 18. Or... And if you're questionably <laughs> over 18, please send a copy of your driver's license, which people have done before and I think is very <laughs> That's cute. very funny. <laughs> very, very funny. I like that. <laughs> I, I am a fan of that. 
and uh, and ah. and do all the stuff. Uh, like this and rate it and whatever S- and comment subscribe on it to our channel on whatever platform you're listening to. I uh, t- kiss me, blow me kisses, wave to the people. Blow your kisses, wave to the people, and uh, by all means. Uh, last but not least, some other uh, platitude, <laughs> uh, which, which of course is a platypus with an attitude. Ooh, ah. a, me- a mean platypus. Mean platypus. Weird little monotreme, those fuckers. Weird. Platypi and echidnas. The end. No more monotremes. <laughs> Two weird things that don't fit anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I have a duck bill and lay eggs and am venomous and I'm a mammal. Get the fuck that, out of here. That's a lot of stuff. What are you doing? That is a lot of stuff. Uh, the secret letter is O. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye.